from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Here you go, boy. And now, and now here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's an every kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. The Tom Likas Show brought to you in part by H&R Block. You got people. For an office there, you call 1-800-HR-BLOCK. Because there's no ampersand on the keypad. Or visit hrblock.com. You also can't use an ampersand in a URL. Don't put the ampersand. Don't use it in Terabang either. Look it up. Dean's looking up in Terabang right now. You're exactly right. <laughs> He's still trying to find uh, the Farkel family, though. <laughs> anyway, thank you for tuning in. Look at this. It's a Dear Abby letter. And I am fascinated by uh, the content here. Let me... Uh, I didn't close that, did I? I think I did. I had the Dear Abby letter up there, and then I uh, then I closed it. I'll open it again. Okay, here it is. This is from Dear Abby. It says, uh, Dear Abby. That's how Dear Abby usually starts with. Dear Abby. My boyfriend, Richie, in quotes, because God forbid Richie might recognize himself in the letter and then sue dear Abby for everything she's worth. How dare you talk about me in your column? My boyfriend, Richie. By the way, are guys still named Richie these, I guess on the East Coast? Don't see anybody here in LA named Richie. There's certain names that are very East Coast. You know that Richie, Jimmy? Vinny, Sal, <laughs> Dino. You just don't hear those names very often on the West Coast. Dear Abby, my boyfriend Richie and I have been together three years. Richie watches his pennies. So I was very surprised two days before Valentine's Day to return from a family trip and find a gorgeous vase of professionally arranged flowers and a small heart-shaped box of chocolates on my coffee table. I was very impressed, surprised, and excited. I asked Richie where he got them, and he told me the name of a high-priced florist. I was off work the day before Valentine's Day, so I went out, bought expensive wine and filet mignon, and made a fantastic home-cooked meal for him. When Richie got home from work, I asked him again where he got the flowers. See, already she's uh, putting him into the third degree. And he again named that florist. I asked if he really went and got them. Oh, Jesus, talk about a ball-busting bitch. And if they were really, really intended for me. It was just so out of character for him to splurge like that, the arrangement must have cost at least $100. When he didn't respond, I probed some more. He finally confessed they were from a funeral his parents had attended the day before I got home. <laughs> Good way to save a few bucks there, Richie. Can you believe Richie was trying to pass off flowers from a complete stranger's funeral as nice flowers? He got me for Valentine's Day. He lied to me. Now he says I'm ungrateful and that there's nothing wrong with what he did. <laughs> Stupid bitch, exactly. 
I told him he is greedy and cheap. And the thoughtful thing to do with leftover funeral flowers would have been to take them to a cancer ward at a hospital or to a local nursing home. Oh, yes, you're so charitable there, darling. What do you think? Am I overreacting? I'm afraid this may be a deal breaker. This is from Ann in Grand Rapids, Michigan. How come Ann's name isn't in quotes like Richie? I don't know. Now, Abby's response is not my response. She says, Dear Anne, you're not overreacting. Your feelings are justified. You now know exactly what kind of things Richie is capable of, and being generous to make you happy is not on his agenda. Wake up and smell the flowers. You have glimpsed what your future will be like if you marry him. When it comes to making you happy, Richie will always be playing the angles, and you'll be shortchanged because he is cheap. Now, I just want to respond to this as follows. It should not matter if a man is cheap. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because you should have your own goddamn money, ladies. Why should it matter if we are cheap? If you are taking care of yourself, if you are supporting yourself, why does it matter if we are cheap? Why would that be a quote-unquote deal breaker? Flowers are overpriced. Frankly, I don't think guys should be giving them even if they came from a funeral. If I uh, got some flowers for a funeral, I'd probably bring them home, put them on my uh, center, uh, use them as a centerpiece on my dining room table. Why do we need this? Why do you need to be buying flowers? I mean, should it matter where the flowers came from? Who cares? And why are you asking him all these questions? He brought flowers. He brought them to you. As long as he didn't steal them from the store, as long as he's not wanted by the local authorities, it shouldn't matter where those flowers came from, and you shouldn't care. He took something that looked nice, and he gave it to you, and you thought it looked nice, and you were very happy to get it. Why don't you just shut up and stop asking questions? Should it matter where those flowers came from? And ladies, please tell me, should it matter if a man is cheap? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I think I must do penance tonight for talking to you today. Because years ago I thought you were the seat of Satan. And, uh, and I've come around. It's the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> Tom, that's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. All right, we're talking about the guy in the Dear Abby column who gave his girlfriend flowers for Valentine's Day. Turns out they were from a funeral. So what? Jenna on the Tom Likens Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Is what a question or statement? The way you said hello, it sounds like a question, and I don't know how to answer it. No, not hello. Hi, hello. And then I'm supposed to respond with an answer, like <laughs> you are. And I, I don't know what the answer say. is. What's your answer? I I don't know how to answer. That's what I'm telling you. Oh, well, I want to tell you that I don't think hello? that guys should be cheap. What? I don't think that guys should be cheap. They should buy their girls things. Why because should we? we why should it. we do that? We don't because care if you love, love it. it. Like, Who cares if you love it? But that's so awful. Like if you really care about someone. Okay. No, this has nothing to do with really caring about anybody. It's because we want to get into your pants. <laughs> so essentially, we're paying you to spread your legs. Exactly. No, that's totally. So true. you're a whore. Okay, as long as you admit what you are, that's fine. I'll admit it. So you just want me to be client number nine? You have, no, I do not want to be client number nine. No, you want me to be client number nine? No, I don't want to be client number well, nine. Well, you just said you're a whore. No, I'm not a whore, but like I... If I have to give you things in order to get laid, you're a, that makes you a whore. How is that different from any other prostitute? But it's not like prostitute. If I'm opening my legs, I would appreciate like like I don't care if he got the funerals for I mean the flowers from funerals, but like I would totally appreciate like some type of thing like. Why do you need things? I don't understand. 
Oh, I gotta... love you. She's, she's totally wrong. I'm a big fan. You're always right. There you go. So your boyfriend is cheap, too. <laughs> Goddamn right. Yeah, but I want him to buy me things. Well, he's doing the right thing. He shouldn't buy you anything. <laughs> hey, 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 watch your mouth. We're on the air. Sorry about that. Um, sorry. No, I think that guys should do things for their girls or else they're not going to want to spread their legs. Yeah, but Donna, you're spreading your legs for this guy right now, and he's buying you nothing. I am not. I am not. You're not spreading your legs for him? No. Why is he wasting his time with you? Reuben. Why do you say? Why is he wasting his time with you? Because I'm the best. The best what? Best at everything. Well, uh, if we're not getting a, a taste of what's on the inside, uh, why don't we uh, why don't we start time with you? No, oh, because I have a good soul, Tom. I'm not. Oh, st put him on the phone a second. Now I need to talk to him. Put okay. him on. Here put him is. on. Hey, Tom, how you doing, buddy? She's she's telling me you're not getting uh, anything from her. Well, uh, that's kind of a lie. I mean, <laughs> uh, I don't it's a lie. I don't want to be too... Um... So she is giving it up? Uh, yes, Oh, sir. I put her back on the phone. <laughs> she, she, I just didn't want to say, you know, something inappropriate. All right, well, that's fine. I know you don't want to blow it, and so uh, you uh, didn't want to... Okay, fine, we know the truth. Put her back on. Yeah, and, and, you know, it's been real nice. She actually pays for food a lot of the time. Great. Buys me cigarettes when I don't have any money. There we go. No, she's a very generous person. And you buy her nothing, right? Well, not at the moment because uh, I haven't had a job for about a month, month and a half. But Very good. Once I do get a job, you know, it, it should be even, you know. And what college did you attend? Uh, right now I'm attending a community college, but I've already been accepted into CSUN. I'm a, yeah, I go to Cal Arts. I'm a I'm a business major at CSUN. I'm, well, I'm not going to be going there till next semester, but I'm a business Tell management about major. <laughs> Tell them about the discount, Harry. Uh, listen, I'll just put her back on the phone here, okay? Okay, she wants to talk to you. So I okay. know she does, so put her back. Oh, geez, this is painful. You know what college I go to? All right, so now we know that you're you're putting out, and he doesn't uh, spend any money on you, which is perfect. But he will. He just said he would. Well, he'd be uh, stupid to do that. But there no. are so many women giving it up for free. Why should he pay to get it from you? Because I'm generous back to him. Like, I feel like if someone's generous to some person. Yeah, well, you know what? Generally, with these things, if you if you add up the dollars and cents, generally the men end up being more generous than the women. I say, how about you just give each other nothing, and then there you go. Oh, you have to, like, express your feelings somehow to, like, give each other. I will. I'll unzip my fly. I'll express my feelings to you. Yeah. But I'm was, a very feeling person. What? Very good. Oh, jeez. I, I tell you what. You, when you decide who you're talking to, call me back, okay? 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Christina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I love your show. Thank you, darling. I love you. You are such a genius. That last girl is so stupid. You are so right about everything you say. I my dad turned me on to you like ten years ago, and I've been listening to you forever. Like it's ridiculous. I've heard everything you have to say. I've turned my brother on to you. Like my boyfriend hates that I listen to you, but really? oh well. <laughs> Why don't you just dump him and get into the hot tub with me and be done with it? <laughs> because Tom, unfortunately, against your rules, I don't like to sleep alone at night, and you have way too many. Oh. For me, hun. Oh, but I see. I just wanted to say I totally agree with you. I don't think men should have to spend a dime on a woman. You know what? When me and my boyfriend go out, we've been together two years, Tom. I pay for my meal. He pays for his occasionally, very, very rarely. Maybe for my birthday, he'll treat for dinner, and then on his, I'll do the same. But we don't celebrate Valentine's Day. We don't do Christmas. We don't do anything big. If we love each other, that's why we're together, period. Not for the money, not for anything else. I understand. Christina, thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Professor. Como estas? I'm doing okay, Chris. Hey, man. I've been listening to your show ever since. Well, ever since I got this crummy job where I'm delivering flowers to a bunch of rich, you know, punks. 
a lot of ladies who don't deserve them, a lot of people that are just like, oh, how wonderful. Like, I got the worst, the worst thing I could hear, and I get tired of it. Oh, you must, you must have the best job because you bring smiles to everyone's faces. And it's always the ladies who just don't care. They're cheap. They don't even tip us. And I just have to put up with bull. And, oh, Valentine's Day. When I was listening, oh, my God, I was like, if Tom only knew how much money all these guys, all these idiots were spending on these women. It was ridiculous. How many of these women got flowers for more than one guy? Oh, um, uh, uh, we, got, we had a few. We had a few people like that. There was Sluts. It, it's it's a ridiculous, man. And then and then the markup for like I used to get flowers at Bonds cheap, like three whatever. And but if you buy from the place where I deliver, which I'm not gonna say, um, they, man, you're paying like two hundred, three hundred dollars for like two dozen plus like seventy five dollars for delivery. Oh, dude, ridiculous, man. Well, what guys what guys need to know if they are stuck, mm -hmm. like in a marriage where you have to deliver flowers, you have to you have to deliver the goods. Exactly. Costco is the best way to go. Right on. Uh, and the reason is because not only are they cheaper, uh, but uh, no one knows they're from Costco. They're delivered by a local florist, mm -hmm. right. and it has their name on it. You never know Costco was involved, and it's a lot cheaper than a local florist. Right, exactly. But the only people I ever, ever, like, personally, I would give flowers to my mom or my grandmother who's dead. But that's a different story. She always loved flowers. But any girl I date, man, oh, hell no. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, Tom, can you take me out on Dale Earnhardt style? Uh, well, it might offend people, but I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Marie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi Tom. How are you today? Great. Can I can I just tell you it is an honor to talk to you. Um, I would hear bad things about you, and now I'm addicted to you. So I'm glad I'm stuck in traffic every single day going home because I really enjoy you. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. About the flowers, um, I just wanted to say that I would be flattered if somebody gave me even funeral flowers because I've actually been seeing somebody for three years and the last time he gave me flowers was probably just like one rose and that's it and that's the last time I can remember. It might be a little freaky the fact that they're funeral flowers but I would seriously think I would laugh and think it was like the cutest thing ever. So for any girl they're just too spoiled. They should just you know take what it is and I know the reason why he doesn't buy me anything. The last time we went out I probably treated him. The last time he treated me was probably to Taco Bell, and that was like a really, really long time. Is so, he a listener? Um, I sometimes. He doesn't like the fact that I listen to you. He thinks it's weird because, you know, considering I'm a girl. <laughs> so he probably is a listener. I hope not. <laughs> I hope he's not listening to me because he'll probably be embarrassed. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I I truly appreciate the very, very, and I mean very little that he ever does for me because I pretty much do the most for him as far as taking him out, buying him shoes, and maybe a lot of girls think I'm stupid, but you know what? He um, He takes care of me, so I guess that's all I have to say. <laughs> well, thank you, Marie. Thank you. Appreciate, Have a good day. You too. Appreciate the call. 1 800 5 800 Tom. Artin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, how's it going, Tom? Great. Uh, just listening on all these people calling in and stuff. Uh, and it's kind of weird how guys have to get the girls' presents. I mean, I want car parts too. I want a lot of stuff. And I can, it can't be the other way around. Our girls have to give it to us. <laughs> like, I want rims on my car. I can't right. Can't give me that. We have to buy them jewelry, everything, spend all that money. And why do that if you want to get laid? You can just get laid for free. There's a lot of women giving it away out there. Yeah, no doubt about it. There's a lot of horny girls out there. Right. So, I don't know, man. I mean, girls have to start giving us some stuff, you know. I want some jewelry, too. I want a new Rolex watch. <laughs> Give me some rims on my car. <laughs> That's right. And I don't know. It's It's weird how... Everybody just looks like the girls talk to each other and say, oh, my boyfriend got me this. What's your boyfriend getting? And they start nagging everybody and telling them, yo, somebody's boyfriend got me this. How come you're not getting me anything? Yeah. And it's just a big headache. Well, but uh, just move on to somebody else if that happens. Yeah, no, man. Tell me about it. Go on Craigslist or something. 
Dad, find somebody who'll be ready for you in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> yep, that's right. Hey, Tom, can you take me out? Uh, don't taser me, bro, style. I certainly can. What did I do? Get off me. No way. Get off my best Get the f*** off me, man. I didn't do anything. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me. I didn't do anything. Ow! 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 I love that. <laughs> I definitely do. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Doing okay. That's gravy. Yeah, I got to say it's an honor to talk to you. It is indeed. <laughs> I uh, I wanted to make a comment about that uh, article or the letter that Ann wrote about Richie. Yes. And uh, how she was saying that the noble or the honorable thing to do would be to take the flowers that he got from a funeral. And take them to a cancer patient? That's what she say, said. Yes, that's what she said. I got to say that that's the most ridiculous thing ever. Like, you show up at the cancer ward. Here you go. I uh, I got these flowers from a funeral. I, I guess you'll get your own someday. That? Yeah, I got these flowers from a funeral. Uh, when's your funeral going to be, by the way? <laughs> that's what that's what you do. That's great. Uh, yeah. You know, those flowers are just going to go to waste. And uh, usually at the end of a funeral, I mean, those flowers are given away or disposed of. Yeah, I, I don't know. She should just be grateful that she got some flowers and not try so much. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. You got flowers. Right. Take them and shut up. Take them and shut up. Shut up right. is good advice for women. They just don't understand. It, you know, what I want more than anything, more than a home-cooked meal, more than having my clothes laundered or my socks folded, more than anything in the world, I just want them to shut up. Yeah, I, I can definitely... Uh, if they like would just time. shut up. I mean, they don't understand. Give us one day of peace. Just shut up. You know, the last woman who lived with me, it's now been years. She talked so much and so continuously that that it, it's taken all this time. I still won't live with anybody because the quiet is, it, it's like healing. I sit there in the absolute blissful quiet and I just heal quietly. From years of the constant talking. Well, uh, you know, they debark dogs. Maybe you could try it on the next girl who talks too much. Hey, I, as I have always said, if Helen Keller had a granddaughter who was a 9 or a 10, I am in. <laughs> well, Tom, I appreciate the time, man. Can you take me out uh, client number 9 style? Client number 9 style. Here you go. Number 9. The remorse I feel will always be with me. From those to whom much is given, much is expected. Number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. It's one 800 5 800 those are going to start coming in now, I think. What are you going to do? We were ready. We were ready. It's Cassie on the Tom Liger Show. Hello. Hi. I just want to say I'm a newcomer on listening to your show, and I think everything you say about girls is completely true. Wow. Completely I love that. True. <laughs> I think we are bitches. We talk way too much, and we can't help it. There's nothing we can do about it. That's just how we are. Just as long as you can accept that that's how you are, it's fine with me. I can accept it. And the thing with the flowers and that girl, that girl is a total bitch. That's all I have to say. She should have just accepted those flowers and been grateful. Just asking I, all I these questions. The are you sure you got it for me? What was the name of the floor? Where was the address? Where were they located? Were they FTD or 1-800-Flowers? What, what kind of store? Well, what, where was that? Was that in the mall? Or was that a standalone store? What was it? Who cares where it came from? They're probably pretty flowers. My God, I cannot believe she was such a bitch. Ugh. If, she's, if she's listening, I hope she should. She should apologize to her man if she's listening. No, the best thing that could ever happen to that guy is that she dumps him. That you know what? She'd be doing him a favor. Oh, definitely. A girl like that. I mean, if I was a lesbian, I, I would kick that girl's ass. <laughs> okay, that was just rude. <laughs> Thank you for that, Cassie. Okay, we'll have a great day. Appreciate the call. Here comes Nick in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Oh, it's Rick. But anyway. Oh, Rick. Um, hey, all right. Hey, well, it said Nick up, on the screen, and that's what I read to you. Oh, that's all right. No, um, but hey, if you want to talk about cheap and stuff, I did something similar to the guy in the Dear Abby um, thing. 
I got my grandmother, she died. And she was one of those ladies that ordered a lot of stuff off of the Home Shopping Network. And I gave my girl a pair of cubic zirconia uh, earrings. Just for the hell of it. I love that. that. And she thought they were diamond? diamond? Yeah, you know what the best, by the way, here's the best scam of all. You don't just get her cubic zirconia. Right. You get her some old-fashioned looking uh, setting for the cubic zirconia. Tell her it belonged to your grandmother, and it means a lot to your family. She'll never go check to see if it's a real diamond. Yeah, hey, that's a good idea. It's been in the family for generations. You know, yeah, and I mean, that way also. Yeah. That way also, if she ever checks and finds out it's cubic zirconia, you go, "Oh my God, my grandfather! What a cheapskate!" But it would never be laid on you. <laughs> That's true. But, I mean, you know, they're too stupid to check, man. They, they're too stupid to even figure that part out. That's right. You know? And if I would ever buy a girl, you know, diamonds or anything like that, I mean, that's what I mean. If I had to go through with actually buying it, I would go that way anyway. <laughs> I mean, why not? You know? But, uh, but hey, hey, Tom, um, try to go. Can you take me out to uh, Helen Keller style? Oof, oof. Okay, I certainly can. You ready? Yeah. All right, here you go. Uh, 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 uh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. God damn! Well, that that's like a dream. A hot chick who's incapable of speaking. Tell you what? Yes, yeah, sure. It's a handicap, but it's a handicap. I'd be more than happy to uh, compensate for. You know, she needs me to order for her in restaurants. What would you like, honey? Uh, uh, uh. Sell the Chateau Briand. You want some dessert? Uh, uh, uh. Hot chick who's incapable of speaking. It's a dream. I tell you what, if you've got any people in your family who are disabled like that, who like can't speak but they're really hot, please... Yeah, they're having a hard time uh, socializing, hard time meeting men. Send their name and their phone number. Do they have a phone? They use like TTY or something? Whatever. I'll figure it out. I'll get my computer to emulate TTY and I will send a message. We'll go on a date. She'll never have to worry about speaking to anybody again. God, that gets me hot just thinking about it. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. I think you are the foulest piece of excuse of a human being. Good, I'm glad you feel that way. We're telling our youth, our young people of America, that they should be treating women like dirt. Yes, and, uh, they should. I feel very sorry for you. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. It all started with a letter to Dear Abby about a guy who gave flowers to his girlfriend. She'd never gotten flowers from him before, and she was so happy she made him a great meal. But then she started quizzing him, started interrogating him about where the flowers came from, and finally turned out the flowers were from a funeral. She's so upset that he's so cheap. What's the big deal? If women, by the way, a general question, getting away from the woman and the flowers. Should it matter if a man is cheap? What do you care? Ladies, if you are so independent and you don't need a man, why should it matter if a man is cheap? Buy your own jewelry. Buy your own flowers. I love how women love to talk about how independent they are, and then they love to talk about how cheap men are. Why, why, you know, if you're independent, it shouldn't matter if somebody is cheap. Right? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Sherry on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you today? Great. Excellent. I love this topic, and I have to tell you why. I've... My husband and I have been married for 17 years, and I wouldn't call him cheap, so to speak, rather than frugal. And I agree with you 100% that it does not matter where the flowers would come from, should they come. You should just be thankful because 
that's wasted money. We, you know, at 37 years old, we own our home. We own all of our vehicles. We have zero debt. And you know why? Because we didn't blow it on cheap junk like flowers and other stuff that you don't need. All these materialistic women, they need to grow up and, and realize that there's more to life than getting things from a man. Well, unfortunately, most women have not grown up, and that is what they see us as. They see us as human ATMs. I know. It's ridiculous. I absolutely can't stand it. It it drives me crazy. You know, you know what? When we got married, I got to tell you this. We got married. My wedding ring cost $384. Wow. Yeah. And you know why? Because it didn't matter to me. Because it's the, it's the symbol of the thing. It's the symbol of our union, yada, yada, yada. You know how that goes. But... All this whole, you know, spend two months salary and buy your wife flowers all the time. It's just, we, my husband and I like to call them Hallmark holidays, as you do, because that's what they are. That's just the way that, that Hallmark can make money. Plus, can you imagine if I spent two months salary on a ring? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'd, I'd be in your bed for months. Oh, my <laughs> God. You'd do anything I ask. You got it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's. It, I just. I could not believe the audacity of that lady who to write that letter to dear Abby. It just blew my mind. I just. That, like like the very first caller that you took, who was such a ditz. That I. I just that that unfortunately symbolizes so many of the women in America today. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right. Sherry, thank you for the call. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's John on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how are you, Father? Hey, I'm okay, son. <laughs> Good. Hey, I couldn't agree with you more that, uh, you know what, women are supposed to be independent. They're supposed to be educated. Uh, you know, we can't be expected to provide everything for them. And you know what? I think they can be just as cheap as we are, and we should hold them to the same standards. Well, that's and, the other uh, thing. Women are the cheapest creatures on earth. Who are women to be calling men cheap? It, well, exactly. In fact, the, the only other thing I'd say, though, is I have a best friend who's getting married, and I got married last year at 36, and I made sure that the woman I married was college-educated, that she was going to be working on her MBA, and that she understood the value of money, because I saw it differently in my family growing up, and I made a good choice. But I have a friend of mine who is the cheapest SOB on the face of the earth. His wife, his wife-to-be makes good money, but the problem is, is he's so cheap, she won't even, he won't even let her spend money to have uh, a professional do invitations for the wedding. She has to make them. He has money for a, uh, a dinner, for a rehearsal dinner. She wants to have it in a restaurant. He says, no, it's got to be in the house. So even though she's willing to spend money, her, her, uh, husband-to-be is so, so cheap, my friend, that she, he won't let her spend money, so. Well, uh, you know, again, I, frankly, I think young couples uh, spend too much money anyway. Too much money is wasted. And I think uh, that uh, worrying about whether somebody's cheap is just plain immature and stupid. Yep, I totally agree. Totally agree. And these women out there today who think that, that men owe them something, I mean, to be quite honest, I thought with my parents, it was like, you know, you owe me. What is this that we owe women anything? We don't owe them anything. I mean, it's uh, it breaks up marriages. Women have to go into this knowing that they're expected to, to, to go to work after they've had the kids, and they're expected to bring in half the bacon. And my wife understands that. And you know what? We've been married eight months, but we have a happy marriage And uh, because I laid down the line uh, at the very beginning. Thank you for the call, John. I appreciate it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. And on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. It's Ann. Yes. Love your show. But I wanted to mention this. No one has ever mentioned, or I haven't heard on this show, no one mentioned the problem that it's honesty. If he was honest about where he got the flowers from or even just said that he got them for free. Why does he owe it to tell her anything? Why is she asking no, that question? Have, he could have said none of your business, but the fact is he could have just said, or, or, or why Why did he have to be, it's the honesty. I'm sorry, it's the honesty. I'm very nervous. I didn't want to talk at first, but I'm very nervous. It's the honesty about it. He lied and tried to make himself out to be something that he wasn't. That's the point. And like the last caller said, and that's what breaks up marriages and somebody expecting something. No, what breaks up marriages is the dishonesty. That's it. These two are not married. even married. They don't have to be married. You don't have well, to be uh, married. You know, be I, the honest. best thing she can do for him is to dump him. I hope she dumps him for his sake. She can dump him, yes. Yeah, I hope she him. does.
It's just that he needed to be honest. He didn't have to lie. He didn't have to make himself out to be nothing, something that he wasn't. And that's what he did. That's the problem to me. It's not about what he can do for you. And like you said, it's not about how much he has and why he's being cheap because I'm a woman who takes care of myself. And it's not about what a man can do for me because I do for me. I love. If a man gives you flowers, would you ask him where he got the flowers from? No, I wouldn't. It wouldn't matter. But since it came up, he didn't have to make himself out to be something that he wasn't. Of course, if you're doing something out of character, of course the woman is going to inquire. He should have been ready to answer he that He should question. have never done anything nice for her. He should have just said the hell with that. Look, you can be nice to people. There's nothing you wrong You just don't have to give them anything. Speak. You don't have to. But it's, it's good if you do, and if you don't, it's okay, too. As long as you have the things for yourself and you're doing for yourself, it shouldn't matter. But, like I said, the point is he lied about it, and that's probably what the problem is. No, I don't she think so, because she said that. she starts talking about how he's cheap. I mean, the fact that, look, and that's the other thing. I, I think you're wrong because she starts discussing the fact that she thinks he's cheap. Well, why is that even relevant? Maybe she didn't know how to express what she was Nah, doing. I don't think hurt. so. I think it's all about the cheapness. I think that's what she's concerned about. And if women are independent, they shouldn't worry about whether a guy is cheap. Buy your own goddamn flowers. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Henry on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. How you doing? Great. Yes, I, you know, I heard about this guy talking about buying flowers and you said go to Costco. Yeah. Yes, I found a better place than that. Where's that? Home Depot. Well, Home Depot, if you want to pick them up and deliver them, they, they could very well be cheaper than Costco. But when I talk about Costco, I mean a guy shows up at her place and delivers cheap flowers. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Oh. And, and she can't tell it's Costco because, you know, it's some local florist that Costco has a deal with. And I don't know if they're selling excess flowers or, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so she can't even tell you got them at Costco. Well, I mean, she shouldn't even be worried where they came from. It's the thought that counts. It doesn't matter if they're from the 99 Oh, business. trust me. Uh, women, for women, it's not the thought that counts. It's how much did you spend on my vagina? <laughs> That's well, that, that's what it on. is. That's why women go around the office uh, lording their new engagement ring. Oh, look at the rock he got me over the <laughs> other women in the office. Yep. Because it's well, all about how much money can my vagina draw in? Well, I mean, if I find a girl that doesn't care, hey, if it's eight bucks for a dozen roses, why not? If it's going to get me laid that night, why not? And there you go, Henry. Thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Bernice on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 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 I think that skank should just buy her own damn flowers. Who cares right. where you got them from? That skank. Who cares? That They're goddamn skank. F her. <laughs> That's right. They're going to trash anyway. I don't do Valentine's Day. I don't do flowers or cards for any of that, or any holiday, because they just end up in the trash. Well, they do eventually. But they, they do. And that's what happens. That's why I tell my boyfriend. I'm like, don't get me flowers. Don't get me cards. It doesn't matter because they end up in the trash. It's all wasted money. There we go. And if she's, if he's so cheap, I'd like to see her spend like 80 bucks on some flowers <laughs> for somebody. Exactly. Yeah, so I think the skank should just buy her own flowers. That's right. Buy your own flowers, you skank. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Miguel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi, Miguel. Hi, how you doing? Great. Uh, first time, uh, first time caller, long time listener. Thank you. Uh, check this out. I, uh, I, I, I work for a company that, uh, that does flower runs for mortuaries and, uh, funerals. Right. And, uh, and, uh, that's the same thing I've done. I've done it over and over and over and it's got me laid so many times. Oh man, it's, 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 it's great. And not, and not, not even, not a single penny out of my pocket. <laughs> I've even, I've, I've messed around with, you know, Countless uh, girls, you know, they do it. They work at the funeral business, and they don't even know it's from their own from their own services. Well, sounds good to me. All right, thank you, Tom. Thank you. Appreciate the call. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.